Hello YouTube, this is Davmar1079 coming back at you with another toy review of Constructicon Hook. As you can see, he is one of those cranes that you can see on the side of the road usually lifting the heavy material, say if they're working on a bridge or something, or working on a construction field lifting heavy material up into the air. Which, he's got some good Ability. But first, let's look at the detail. As you can see, the little ladder right here. Not much for the wheels because the camera it's, won't pick up even the little screw bolts to hold on to the wheel. Driver seat, crane operator seat. As you can see, the crane itself has got nice molded detail. The only colored part of it is the actual crane part, which is picked out in a nice silver. Other side, as you can see, the stairs are there. All the other bits picked out in silver are the headlights. Besides that, you got the purple here. Got the Decepticon logo right there. Lots of nice molded detail on the back. Got the brake lights and you got some other stuff. And you can see underneath them pretty much is what's going to be become him. He's got, there's his head right here, and you can see, pretty much you can see his whole layout under here. And with posability with guy, this guy, it's about that high with his crane that you can pull up in the air. But that's pretty much all it for that, so let's take a look at him with his other Constructicon buddies. Let's take a look at him next to Bone Crusher. The last one I reviewed. Let's see. Then he's a bit longer vehicle. Of course, he's going to be bigger by here. The crane makes him really definitely longer when it's laid down and all that. But the vehicle I'm counting off this. Let's take a look at Scavenger. Let's see. It's out the bucket. He's definitely shorter, but if you pull, use their tools, a lot bigger. Here he is with Mixmaster. I gotta do it this way. If I don't, you won't be able to see him. Going wheel from wheel. Uh, Mixmaster beats him out by a hair, it looks like. Don't know if you'll be able to see that, but he'll be he beats him by a hair. And scavenger now, which I got it right this time since I forgot. <laughs> I was mixing it up with scrapper here. But you can see without the bucket. Bigger wisp bucket. Nope. And before I get on to more comparisons, let me grab his weapons. Here are his two weapons here, which will become part of the chest piece for Devastator here. As you can see, I guess you can consider them like swords or something, or weird rocket launchers because these look like rockets and everything, but nice molded in detail. But, since I reviewed Mixmaster's gun piece here, let me just show you what that's going to look like all done up. Because you can see, this piece will all be that of Devastator's chest place. A combination of Mixmaster's gun and Hook's two little side thingies. If you know what these are called or anything in at all what to call them. I'll just call them I guess his little swords. Please leave a comment down below. But per usual until we get to the last Constructicon you cannot store these guys anywhere on him. It's not even that way. At least with Bone Crusher you had maybe a little cheat but other than that no. Let's take a look at him next to some others. Here he is next to Red Alert. Another A-list little 
vehicle. See, it's a lot smaller than Red Alert. And this is Cybertron Red Alert. I don't have any other ones to compare to. Here he is with Transformers Prime Skyquake. You can see. Oops, don't you fall over. I'm loosening this little camera bit. Skyquake is bigger for being a military jet. Or I guess the version that he is. Quite good, I guess. Possibly in size. Get the one thing that I always put now in every video review. Do you see how he compares with Jetfire, movie Jetfire? See, he fits inside him quite well. He is really a lot bigger. Leave a comment down in below if you ever want to see a review of Jetfire. And now, like always, since we're at this point in the video, I shall transform him into combiner mode first. Show you how that's done, and then we shall go into robot mode. So first, all you need to do to get him into combine mode is first, take these little arms on each side, just to get him out of the way, fold them down all the way to here, just to get out of the way. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there is a tab right here, and there's in a tab right inside here that you just want to pull apart to get these pieces moving. Since if you can't already tell, that's where Devastator's head is. Then you want to snap these two pieces here together. Gotta keep that out. Full push this over here so the tabs for Devastator's head can plug in. But before that fold down this connecting piece and in the chest as well you can get it with your fingernail pull it out of his chest sorry you can't really see it but for this piece right here for this arm you can leave this one however you want this one you have to put down and make sure it's straight because it'll line up on the next combiner oh yeah fold out the arm connector pieces make sure it lines up to close this back down, you can tell by there's a little slot inside the connector joint. Fold out this one again. Got to dig in there to get it. Usually, sometimes, and you just simply fold out the head and tab it in. Then, there you have the combined mode for Combiner Wars Devastator. You can see nice molded detail. Nice little red eyes or visor, whatever you want to call that. Nice molding on the mouth, the chin, the nose, everything. I guess you could say bucket head as well. You can see, not bad for the construction that they did for all of them, really. All nice and everything. His head can swivel back and forth. If you want him to look up, you basically have to untab him. He cannot look down unless you just force him to by just leaning him when he's in combine mode down but it's pretty much it for him now let's combine let's take him out of combine mode and put him into robot mode which you just want to do is basically fold it all up make sure that's on a little I guess double hinge system you just want to make sure to put this one flat there then put it back and it'll be good come on get in there Make sure you hear that snap. Fold up the pieces. Fold the arm back up. As you can see, just there's a the little tab right there that'll go up in here. You just want to make sure you have that. And here's the other tab. Slide this crane piece back. Pretty much put them back into vehicle mode, but. Now you just want to untab the legs. 
flippers. Fold these down the feet. And then you want to untab them from here. If you can get them, which I won't be able to possibly show you on camera. Maybe. Yeah, nah. As you can see, little tab right here. It tabs right in to there. And you just have to tab this piece back in to another little slot in there. And just put the leg there and there. You have one. Sorry, I had to pretty much pull them upside down. So, give me a second on this one. Just pull this off camera so I got a better angle at it. Here we go. Then take long. Now you just want to unfold the arms. Straighten the arms out. In fold out the hands and hear that snap. There. Then you just want to fold this part down. You can see that little hinge right there. You just oops. You have to have this two words in combined mode. If not, this piece will not go over. I keep forgetting that at times. And now you just all have to do whoop, fold his head out. And I'll say this real quick before I go into showing the articulation and showing all the combined stuff. Like Scrapper, or not Scrapper, Scavenger, if you do not have him on a stable surface, I guess the tool part of him can act as a stand helper to help him stand. Which is neat on this one that I can do. So he doesn't fall over really, which is good. I'll take a cut here, I'll show comparisons with his other Constructicon buddies, and I'll, sh and I'll do all the articulation then. So, give me one minute. And we're back. First, we'll go and take a look at him next to Bone Crusher. Actually, let me do this. I shall give you him his weapons. So, he looks right with the rest of them. Yeah. Put them this way, I forgot. So we have that arm movement. If they go in. Get in there. There we go. As I was saying, here he is next to Bone Crusher. Let's see. Hook is a lot taller. Here he is with Scavenger. But same. Here he is with Mixmaster. And I think these two are the ones that are about the same size only. And here he is with Brain just didn't want to work there, so, um, Scrapper, yeah. And, Hook here is a lot taller than Scavenger, so let's get him in order, I guess. If they'll stand up for me long enough to, which, let me just carefully... Put them around each other. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Let me just put them all the way back here. So you can get a nice little screenshot of them all. As you can see, as they are such so far, not a bad looking team. Only one more to go, and then they all get combined into Devastator. So, th that'll be good. And now, to show you more articulation before I get into more size comparisons, his hands only can do that wrist, since it's on a mushroom paint, can do that, can go 
a nice all the way as you've seen from combined mode but since I have the weapons in it won't go that far legs cannot go out that far back where it's pretty much all the way bend not all the way at a 90 degree angle but still good no hip rotation no ab crunch if you want to make him look stupid, look like he just got blasted or cut in half, almost cut in half, you could do that. Head on a ball joint, so he can, do, he can look up that much, he can look down that much, he can look side to side, he can look at, make sure he can look at his back, but not really since the back piece is in the way. And now let's take a look at him next to Deluxe Class Soundwave from Transformers Prime. See how he scales next to the silent sound wave. Here he is to his second master, Galvatron. I'll put a link down in the description below to, if you want to watch the first movie that he was ever in, alongside Galvatron. I'll put a link down there and you can watch it or just skip to the scenes to where they have them combining. And here he is with leader class six shot. As you can see, a lot bigger. And as always, pretty much a little staple. How he compares to a Dragon Ball Z character. You can see, Transformers, a lot bigger. And that's pretty much going to do it all for now, so I want to thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe, and hit that bell to notify me anytime that you post. Wait, I messed that up. I'm sorry. Leave a comment down below and tell me how you're liking this. Please like and subscribe, and hit that bell to notify you anytime that I post a video or go live and all that. I'll leave in that last little mistake just to show you <laughs> that I do screw up from time to time. But besides the point. And also, leave a comment down below when if I do remember to put the link to where you see these guys in their movie alongside Galvatron over there. Tell me how you liked it, if you watched it, or if you just watched up to the point of the scene just skipping around to find them. Let me know. And as always, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.